<clears throat> Thank you for everybody uh, and your time. So yes, I, I um, look after the customer and marketing management business unit within Infor for UK and Ireland. And <clears throat> yes, we have been working together for, uh, for probably about 50 years now um, in one organisation or another, together or apart, but uh, always sort of communicating around this area of engaging customers, making their experience experience, uh, relevant <clears throat> and correct. Um, and I thought as we, um, we were actually quite short notice to hear, normally at these events we would get a customer to talk. Um, and we're not really going to talk about Infor or uh, us, I'm sure you can Google us uh, if you want to, but really just about some of our experiences across those years <clears throat> uh, and how we see both the behaviour of of those customers out there and technology enabling them to behave in different ways and what that means for marketeers within organizations and I guess full circle what that means for us as supplying solutions to meet some of those changes. So that's really sort of the theme that encapsulates the next uh, 20 or so minutes. <clears throat> so and we really do believe that it is about the customer experience now. Um, whatever company you are in whatever sector um, your brand is an experience to them <clears throat> and in terms of the challenges for you it's about managing that experience to be the best and most consistent <clears throat> experience it could possibly be um, so in terms of our journey um, <clears throat> and, and where we have arrived now in this always on marketing uh, as a, is a phrase that's well known well known now um, <clears throat> we we I wasn't quite here then in the 1950s maybe not even well, just about in the late 1980s these terms and, and um, <clears throat> eras of marketing in terms of what organizations were trying to do in terms of engaging with the customers, giving them an experience, um, whether it was billboard advertising, TV advertising, or actually what happens a lot now still, pieces of content through the mailbox, <clears throat> albeit on the back of lots of customer analysis and segmentation and propensity scores. Um, but really where, where we are now and where we've been for a while is this sort of space of being an always on environment <clears throat> and um, what sort of shapes that <clears throat> is the fact that um, you know your customers are always on so you have to engage them when they're on which is typically 24 7 and really none of us want to work 24 7 um, so we do, in some form or another, have to involve technology to deliver customer experiences, customer content, customer messages and offers 24-7. <clears throat> so we, we see those from our perspective as the principles and we've got a lot of um, data that's been given to us by Nielsen. Uh, CACI maybe uh, and we've seen this before about media consumption that is like you know where are people spending their time uh, and for the first time if you combine mobile devices uh, in an online world um, hiding behind there just here it's overtaken TV for the first time uh, I think last year in the US um, <clears throat> the number of smartphones and tablets all of this data is just backing up what we see and what we do as individuals in terms of we go onto uh, organisations websites to transact, to research, to find out, to complain, to do whatever we do as consumers. If we're an organisation um, <clears throat> we'll want to sort of transact with um, source suppliers to get our materials, um, our pieces of equipment that then we'll use in our jobs. So. You know, defining the always-on customer now is quite simple. 
you know, you are connected, <clears throat> whether it's by an iPhone or a tablet or a PC at work, maybe not at work so much, but certainly um, when you're watching, if you have children, uh, then playing and endeavoring very hard on the sports pitch, you might suddenly um, be on your phone. <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> from a marketing department um, with sales and product divisions, wanting us to engage customers and get the new product content or product messages out there. We have to do that across all channels all of the time um, to create this engagement of customers, to try and get repeat business, to try and capture their first time business. Maybe, and I don't know all of you, but it's, it's more about the brand and you hope the sale comes after. Maybe it's about the initial sale and then the cross sell or the additional sales. Um, certainly around this customer experience, it's about engagement that drives that experience. So <clears throat> from our perspective in terms of our challenge, we have to help you engage customers 24-7 be able to plan your activity and your capacity within budget, within your uh, business teams, within the marketing people you have, within your agencies that are developing creative and content, video, pictures, words, get that signed off from a management perspective, budget perspective, uh, maybe compliance perspective, um, <clears throat> so that we can send that content out or we put it out there as a video, as an advert, uh, maybe as a direct piece of mail <clears throat> that engages our customer correctly and that make it also available so that the customer can get it when we are hopefully sleeping at midnight and they're still tapping onto our website. So that's great but we also have to remember that it's, <clears throat> it's, it's about making that as relevant as possible. So it has to be personalized. And ideally, you, you do need to know what the last thing you did with them was or what they did with you. So that could have been what was the most recent transaction. So um, we have a customer and uh, they, they tend to provide an interface for you to pick six numbers and two bonus numbers and do that for three weeks or four weeks. Um, so it's no point them sending you a piece of information to say this is a, a jackpot week and you only open that piece of information when the draw's been made and it's actually been won. So again, it's all about in context with what the last thing they did with you was. Maybe it might be a complaint, in which case maybe something of a credit nature or an offer of um, a loyalty offer might be more relevant than, hey, come and buy more stuff. So these four areas are all around the sort of the challenges to driving that engagement uh, in the correct manner um, with your customers. So <clears throat> we also uh, very much um, come across this word social. And that, that's been probably the greatest use of this internet technology in recent times. It's got us all so excited, but also scared that we're missing out. And if we make a big jump in there, uh, there's much chance we'll create damage to our brand as getting it right, albeit with the best intentions. So from our perspective, in terms of helping you engage with customers in a personalized and relevant and appropriate manner um, in real time, if necessary, using technology. Um, we, we haven't really um, focused on social too much. I think it's more uh, an environment for expression of enjoyment and satisfaction as maybe um, certainly <clears throat> um, brand uh, comment <clears throat> is there, but I think from an organization, uh, and certainly ones we know, they want to control their engagement perhaps in more sort of traditional channels where somebody's coming to them um, for a specific interest or if they've searched and found them. 
So um, <clears throat> what we enable and our customers have found